Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. So I have another reading for you guys. So this reading is going to be focused on your person, okay? So we're going to get some energies for your person. I see a ring here. Somebody could definitely be getting married at a wedding. Because I just see a romantic garden. Or thinking about marriage. We have the lovers, okay? The two swans. So your person is definitely in this romantic type of energy. Didn't I say that when I was shuffling? Like, I see somebody getting married or I see, I saw the ring when I was shuffling. So, yeah, they definitely in this romantic type of energy here with this jack of um, hearts. They definitely, you know, expressing a lot of emotions to you. You, um, They could definitely be wanting to go on dates, express their emotions. They have this real loving type of energy right now um and i'm really i'm really here for it it's a number 24 okay so they may be wanting to reconcile with you or you just they just have you have a history with this person okay but they could be wanting to reconcile okay a relationship or express the way that they feel here or they just thinking you know about the loving memories of um they just thinking about loving memories they have a lot of good memories here yeah, we have this lady here with the ace of spades and the number 29 with the rose, okay? So, yeah, they definitely in this romantic energy here. They get some type of clarity about a relationship or about a person who they have romantic, <clears throat> who they have romantic feelings for. And we have the number 29. So, the number 29 could be um, the two of spades or... The, um, the Knight of Spade, which I'm going to read it as the Knight of Spade because I feel like this person wants to rush forward, okay, towards um, this person who they feel a lot of, um, who they have clarity about, who they having these romantic feelings with here, okay. Um, this person could have possibly been in like an indecisive stalemate type of energy, but not anymore, okay. There could have been no communication, but not anymore. They're ready to reconcile and... They're ready to open up and express their love here. This is the energy of your person. Okay, yeah, they had to examine things. They had to go in, okay, and look at some things from a different perspective here. Okay, they could have been having a lot of things. They was in their mind dealing with a lot of things here. They could have been emotionally distant in that two of um, speed energy that I was telling you about. Okay, um... And they could possibly want to work on their situation here and definitely reconcile. Um, yeah, and definitely reconcile the situation here. Oh, it is. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. I'm getting that your person is tired of being in this energy and they just realizing like who they want to be in a relationship with or they realizing who they want to give their love to or who they have this love for and they tired of being in this stalemate energy and this being in their mind type of energy. They're ready to work on it and reconcile. That's what I'm picking up. They're thinking a lot, um, thinking about a lot of the good times and stuff here. Yeah, we have the two of cups. They're definitely thinking about a relationship for sure. They feel like you are the one, okay? They're definitely thinking about a relationship with you and they feeling like you are definitely the one for them, um, for sure. 
they feel like you complete them with the world card like you are that end all be all okay like you end game with the world card okay so we have the ace of pentacles they definitely want to offer you something stable here some type of abundance they feel abundant with you okay they feel like they can have abundance with you um, this person could have been in, um, we have the Five of Pentacles, so they could have been insecure or going through some type of financial situation here, but I kind of feel like they want to offer you something here, maybe something financial, um, something, it's, it's definitely something material here, it could be a gift or something like that, maybe they couldn't give you something, um, they couldn't be there for you when you was having hardship or something like that, or be there for you doing hardship, um, but I kind of feel like they're ready to offer you something stable now because they could have been in hardship or they didn't have the money and now they in the position to give something or something like that like maybe they didn't have nothing to give before because this person is homeless as shit with this five of pentacles energy like maybe they didn't have anything to give you before and now you know they they do this could have been the reason why they was in this still makes stuck type of energy in their mind and now they want to work it out Okay, so we got the Knight of Wands energy here, but I kind of feel like this person is definitely lacking um, some type of confidence when it comes to coming forward towards you here. Even though they have all these feelings here, I kind of feel like they may feel like they're not passionate enough for you or they may not be strong enough for you or strong enough to leave here. But that's just a lack of confidence, basically, is what I'm picking up here of them trying to get things going. Maybe before they didn't see a future with you here with this um, Knight of with this King of Wands energy in reverse, this person could be a um, fire sign here. Yeah, so maybe before they didn't see, you know, some type of future with you, or they didn't see like the direction of this this that this um, relationship could go. But with the full card at the bottom of the deck. It's like now they open to new beginnings or open to starting off on a good foot here. Um, or open to starting over, okay? And this is why they're willing to work on it here after doing some type of introspection and, and looking at things closely up here with that magnifying glass. Okay, so we have the full Aquarius and Aries energy so they can have those signs in their chart. We have the Ten of Swords energy, yeah, so things definitely ended here due to some type of deception here or betrayal. Um, yeah, this person could have been in, like, a committed situation or they could have ended a commitment with you here or ended a commitment that they had with somebody else or they had family with here. We have the Moon, yeah, so this was definitely, like, something that was messing with them emotionally or this is something that they was hiding here. Okay, they could have been hiding the family or hiding another commitment and that could have been with this deception here. Um, was here with you. This could have what that could have been what ended the situation or caused this person or caused you know no communication between the two of you and for things to go into like this stalemate type of energy. So because of that ending or whatever the case may have been, I kind of feel like this is what caused this person to go in and look at themselves. Yeah, we have the paranormal here, so that's definitely like. Um, this person could definitely be spiritual here, um, with the paranormal, <laughs> with the paranormal, but they definitely are spiritual, I kind of feel like this person is definitely, um, somebody is definitely creative when it comes to paranormal shit, like they can see shit ahead of time or something like that, I'm not, I mean, it's not like psychic, but it's like, because this person, they got a crystal ball here in their hand, right? Um, so it was like this person, like, I feel like they listen to that intuition a lot here. And that helps them make the judgment calls that they need, that they need to make, okay? Um... Yeah, and we have the Page of Cups. So this person definitely want to express 
some type of emotion or love to you or some type of apology, especially when it comes to this deception or this betrayal about this other <coughs> this other commitment with his family or whatever they had going on here. Um Yeah, they want to express some type of apology to it, but I feel like they feel like you seen this coming here with this paranormal this paranormal part. Like even though they was hiding this from you, it was like you kind of already knew or something like that. But they secretly want a committed situation with you. And then we have the five of wands. Yeah, so they feel like that there's still conflict here um, in the situation. Or there still will be conflict here. Especially when it comes to that other commitment that I was talking about. Or there still will be some type of conflict when it comes to... Um, get in this type of committed situation with you. But they're starting to realize that, yeah, when it comes to you guys working together or coming to some type of um, collaborating, coming to some type of mutual understanding here for the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so they feel like you're the one for them here, okay? And this could be the reason why things aren't moving forward. Um, they know for sure that you are the one for them, okay? This is what they're feeling here. But they feel like things aren't moving forward here with this chariot card. Like, there's like a lack of motivation or drive or determination here when it comes to this relationship. Like, I don't know. If this it got a lot to do with this person being in this still me stuck type of energy. Like they feel like you're the one, but they're not moving forward towards you. They see you as that empress. So I wanted to say this before I saw the shuffle in all these cards again because I when I picked up the deck, I seen the Empress card in this back under here again. So they see you as the Empress, they see you as somebody that's abundant here, or they could definitely be um another person here in the picture, like I was saying. What that they have another commitment to, that they have another family with, okay, this could be the child's mother or somebody they had children by who is keeping this from moving forward here with this chariot card, even though they feel like you are the one for them, okay, so we have Libra, Virgo, Energy, Cancer. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Five of Swords here. I mean, Seven of Swords clarifying the Ace of Pentacles here. So there definitely could have been some type of lying or deception or deceit around um, this new beginning or this new opportunity or, yeah, this stable opportunity here um, when it came to you and this person. Or they trying to sneak around. That's what they're doing. They're trying to sneak here with the Seven of Swords. So the way they're coming off is sneaky. Like... If they dealing with another person or they have somebody else here, they're trying to get the fuck away from this person here. But the way they're trying to make this offer to you is you is like they're doing it in secret or trying to sneak it. Yeah, the Five of Cups. Because they definitely, like, what it is, is they definitely regret a lot of things that they've done and they're trying to make it right with you. They miss you here with this Five of Cups energy. What is this King of Wands? I'm going to reverse Yeah, we have the temperance card. So it's like you need to be patient with this person here because before, like I was saying, it was lacking direction or lacking leadership. They wasn't able to step up here when it came to um, offering you something stable and committed here. Um, they could definitely be turning their player ways around here, but it's going to take some patience on your end when it comes to this person. But this person feels like you balance them out with this temperance card. And I feel like 
They just need to heal from a situation that they've been going through or they just need to heal from other situations that they've been connected to here. And they want you to have patience with them. Um, and they see that you had patience with them even when they didn't see a future with you. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's going to take some time here. Okay, so this is just basically saying like things are going to take time for it to get stable and to move on. But even when you didn't even when they didn't see this, you already saw this. We have the paranormal card. They see that you see a lot of shit. You know a lot. So it's like you already knew this. And you knew that this is the reason why this person was moving slow. But they just asked for you to be more patient here before. So be more patient with them right now because of this other connection they have to get away from. So this is why they're not taking leadership or why they're not moving. Why they're not moving forward towards you here. Yeah, this is the blockage with the Seven of Wands. They could possibly be protecting you or trying to protect you. We have Taurus and Sagittarius here. Okay. Ten of Swords. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, so there was definitely some type of ending here um, or deception here, especially the ending basically, definitely some type of decept, this, um, ending here when it came to a fire sign. Okay, so things could have ended with a fire sign or this person could be a fire sign, but there was some type of ending with a fire sign or they need to end some things with a fire sign or... Things ended in this relationship between the two of you guys due to jealousy. Okay, somebody being jealous. Somebody not going after what it is that they want. Basically, just being fucking lazy. Um, and taking initiative here. But I kind of feel like it was this person that wasn't really laziness. It was just them and the family. It's like the energy being stuck here. But with the Queen of Wands energy, it's like they need to end things with a fire sign. It's either A or B, things um, things end in the relationship between the two of you guys because of jealousy and competition here is what I was saying with this rival, like other people in the mix. We have the Hermit card, okay, at the bottom of the deck. So it's like somebody wanted to be left alone or they just didn't want to deal with the other person here or there's no communication. So that's what it was coming from, the communication here. The lack of passion and a lack of communication is what caused the situation to be put to an end. But it's like, even though this person isn't communicating with you and they're going within... Right now, I'm trying to examine some things with the um, magnifying glass card and it's hermit card. It's like they want to come and say something to you here, but they feel like when they do come and say something to you, they're not going to get like the best response here. But they do want to work it out. Okay, we have the, um, the three of pentacles here. They do want to collaborate and work together, though. But I kind of feel like they feel like maybe it won't work out or something like that because they do want to communicate because the term is trying to like open up this computer and see or watch or trying to see what's going on. They may have been watching you on social media while they haven't been talking to you and seeing that you was getting a lot of attention and they was getting a little bit jealous. Clarify this paranormal energy. We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, so you definitely have dreams or you're very intuitive or this person is very intuitive or they've seen something in their dreams. Okay, so this was like a dream message here because I couldn't figure out exactly what the gift was. Like I was like, I know you see shit, you know shit, but I didn't figure out how, but it's because of dreams. So you see a lot of dreams in your messages here. Yeah, King of Swords. This is for whoever has Gemini or Capricorn in their chart. 
or if you're dealing with the Gemini or Capricorn, you're the one that has the dream messages or they do. Yeah, and it was like a blockage here. That's what was causing the blockage. This person kind of wants to defend this relationship in a way, though. Like, I feel like they're defending this relationship to people here. They definitely have a lot of emotions for you and not a lot of love for you. This Queen of Cups energy. Um, I kind of feel like whoever this is, is like they be trying to protect, like, their thoughts or their mind or whatever they have going on. Like, if this person dreams stuff or have a lot of dream messages, they don't really say that they do. But they really intuitive. They just won't really come out and say it or something like that. Five of Wands. But they may feel like you get defensive here, like your emotions run out of whack. Like sometimes you can be too emotional or sometimes they can be too emotional where you get defensive and then that causes like an argument between the two of you guys. Five of Wands. But again, to whoever this is that's having these spiritual dreams or these dreams, the devil is trying to get into your mind here. So there's a need for you to protect yourself. And that, that goes with the devil card and the king of um, wands, I mean, king of swords. There's a need for you to balance out your mind and your emotions, okay? Because somebody here definitely needs to do that. But it's easy for, if you don't have an equal, stable balance between the mind and the emotions, it's easy for the devil to get into your mind. So that's something that you need to protect here. Five of Wands. Eight of Wands. Yeah, so there's definitely arguments or conflict here. Or there's definitely um, a lot of conflict when it comes to them traveling towards you or communicating towards you. Or there could just be difficulty with conflict when it comes to communication with you. And this is what they feel here. Um, they definitely want to express the way they feel with this Knight of Cups energy, but we already seen it at the top. They want to come forth and express their emotions, but it's difficult right now because of a situation they already got going on. But they see something definitely in their dreams with you that they're trying to protect or hide or block. Or this person don't know how to like protect their energy here. We have the Five of Swords. Yeah, they definitely see a victory with you, but they definitely see that... Um, that whatever this communication blockage is or this conflict is that they have in with you as far as trying to come and see you or contact or communicate with you, I kind of feel like that situation is going to be changed or there's going to be a change in that where they're able to come forward towards you and express the way that they feel. Okay, so they have the chariot. So, yeah, things will be moving forward here. Okay, there's going to be a lot of movement. So, yeah, where it's not blocked, where the movement isn't happening right now with the chariot over here in the reverse, the best case scenario, which is like the most likely outcome of the situation, depending on how these energies play out, is that, you know, things will move forward in a direction that you guys wanted to. And then we have the page of wands. Yeah. Things will be moving forward in a direction that you guys wanted to, basically. <clears throat> because there's no doubt that this person has a lot of emotions for you. We see that up here. They definitely have a lot of love for you. It's just that they have things that is against them right now and things they need to get away from right now before they can even come forward towards you. This is basically what I'm seeing here. Because they start to see shit clearly for what it is. It's just a matter of you being patient enough for them to come forward towards you.
Okay, so we have a, a reconciliation coming. So yeah, you guys are definitely going to be reconciling. And it says someone from your um, someone from your past is returning to see your life. So here's the reconciliation. We have soulmate, and it says yes, this person is your soulmate. And then we have calling in your soulmate, and it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. So yeah, this person is your soulmate. You guys will be reconciling together here. Um, and what you can, add, we have true love at the bottom of the deck. It says this is a romance of a lifetime. So yeah, what you can do here to help move things along is basically like manifest it. Okay. Um, prayers, do positive thinking, um, positive affirmations and prayers and shit, you know, to try to help smooth this thing along because this person's needing help. Like, like I said, the devil was trying to get into this person's dreams or trying to distort this person's perception or yours. And this is what they need protection from. I don't feel like they know how to protect themselves, you know, from this. Or maybe they do, you know. But it's some it's something here going on where there's definitely a lot of protection that's needed within this situation between the two of you guys. But they're trying to protect you, okay? And protection, protecting your mind, protecting your your thoughts, and keeping things, you know, clear, thinking clear, thinking logically here. But they also have other attachments that they're really trying to get away from. And if you want to help them you know, move along quickly, you can manifest it, you know. And then we have engagement at the end of this deck, and it says your love life is ascended to a higher level of commitment. So, yeah, the, the relationship will move to the next level. It's all in the matter of being patient right now, okay. So this is why this person isn't moving because they have other things they got to work out. All right, let's see. Messages for Virgo, please. Okay, so we have playfulness, and it says laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. Okay, so right now in the situation that you may be in, currently, okay, just getting out laughing and enjoying yourself. You know, having fun may be what it is that you need right now. That just may be what the doctor ordered. Instead of you being in like a depressed state waiting around for this person or whatever or stuff like that. Because it looks like there's no communication here. It's difficult for this person to communicate with you. Or difficult for this person to express the way they feel about you. So currently right now, something like that is, just, that is the blockage. But, you know, and I know that that can be painful. But right now, it's just like, okay, um, you know, try to laugh. Okay, like laughter is the best healer. Okay, just try to laugh. Try to have fun. Try to enjoy you know, your time right now, even if you're not with this person, just enjoy the your day by day, you know, enjoy the moments that you are going through right now. And that will kind of like help you get through this a little bit or something like that. So hopefully this message, um, hopefully you got something from this message and I'll see you in the next one.